It's the local show on News Radio 570 WSYR, a service of Geddes Federal Savings and Loan and Safe Harbor Wills and Trusts. The local show featuring conversations with business owners, employees, and local business leaders about their successes, challenges, and reasons for doing business right here in Central New York. The local show is locally produced by Zoe Advertising. Now, your hosts. Tom and Steve. Welcome in. Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen, to the 2023 winter edition of The Local Show. I'm your host, Tom Sakosho Jr., along with my friend and co-host, Steve Roberts. The Local Show features conversations with local businesses, with uh, business owners, CEOs, CFOs, entrepreneurs, nonprofits, business advocates, and other business-friendly organizations. We talk about how they got into business and why they do business right here in Syracuse, New York, and where their businesses might be going in the future. Now, you will hear all about their successes, their challenges, opportunities, marketing, and advertising. And we broadcast from the Zoe Advertising Studios, sponsored by Safe Harbor Wills and Trusts, and get us federal savings and loan. Good weekend to Steve Roberts. How are you there as the uh, new year is ticking on? I'm good for being me, Tom. Yes. <laughs> How's that? That's good. Yes, That's you know, good, have, to, good to have you along. Have you? Uh, you're not a New Year's resolution guy, right? No, not at all. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm not. There's, there. It feels like there should be something different there, but it, it's so artificial. Yeah, you know, I heard, a, I heard some folks talking that. Uh, the worst month to work out in the gym is January. Oh, because sure. Because all these yeah, people are like, oh, I'm going to, you know, so all the gyms have all these people that like don't know how to use the equipment. They're <laughs> like clunky in the way, yeah. you know, and they're going to, they're going to get fed. And then uh, by, by the second week of February, crickets, they're right. gone. And you can, they get back to the routine. It's funny. I never thought about that. Well, you used to be a regular workout guy. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I tried. And <laughs> Nicholas, well, you did it. You Nick, were, you well, were, for years and yeah, years. Yeah, you were but, big time. But more recently, Nicholas and I tried to get in there, but uh, with the COVID and the masks, uh, which I thought was so ridiculous, I was on that elliptical with a mask on. And, <laughs> and, and you know, and I got a sinus problem Let's to begin with. Half your, bre- half your <laughs> oxygen <laughs> right off the bat. <laughs> and, and it sounded like, you know, a wheezy peasy over there it was ridiculous so then i stopped going but you know uh, then people started getting on these pelotons and the mirrors and all these other things in and, and nobody you know it's been my experience in all the years that i was you know uh, kind of what do you call it? Uh, connected Heavily to heavily engaged in to, that, yeah, yeah. In, in fitness uh it's been my experience that anybody who puts anything in their home never does it it becomes yeah. it becomes a towel rack yeah. <laughs> what is that under the bed you really need that social engagement and that gives you kind of uh, inspiration as well so there you go there you go jim's i gave you a little yeah. bump <laughs> for, for all that it's worth <laughs> hey stick around we've got a great show lined up for you we're going to talk with dr warren hilton he is the president of onondaga community college and then we're going to talk with attorney david snyder he's the owner of the Snyder Law Firm. Natasha Schmidt stops by, co-owner of Rubberstone, New York. Attorney John Murphy, owner of Safe Harbor Wills and Trusts. Is he going to have anybody with him? I did, think Marie's find... coming. Oh, okay. Good. I think Marie's coming. So uh, we'll get her yeah. right-hand gal. Yes. She, right. yes. Good. And then uh, Chris and Andrea DeVita is the owner of Salt City Bread. And then Doug Lalone, the owner of the Preserve at 405 Restaurant, will be here as well. All on the local show today. Now we say a hearty, healthy good morning to Dr. Warren Hilton, president of Onondaga Community College. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Thanks for having me here, Steve and Tom. Great. Well, it's good to have you. Uh, last time we spoke, we were letting people know that you were the uh, new president. Uh, I, I can't remember how long you've been there. So why don't you give people a little background and how sure. long you've been up there? Sure, sure, sure. So I, I came to OCC, uh, began in July of uh, last year. Uh, so I've been there uh, a little over six months now, enjoying the experience, and yeah. it's a wonderful institution, and it aligns with my belief that education is one of the most powerful ways for individuals to thrive and for communities to be uplifted. So, yeah. How did you end thankful. up finding OCC? What's your journey? I think, uh, you know, a little bit of me finding OCC and OCC finding me. Um, you know, my journey in higher education uh, has always been one of looking at how uh, I can help individuals achieve their goals, um, whether they wanted to get an associate's degree and go right into the workforce, 
or whether they wanted to get a four-year degree, it didn't matter. Uh, I'm just passionate about helping people through higher education. Uh, and that's what OCC is all about, right? It's, a, it's the community's college. It's at the intersection of so many people's lives in central New York. Um, with Spirit Wednesday, so I have my OCC gear on. Um, on <laughs> campus, we have Spirit Wednesday, but I actually wear OCC gear probably seven days a week. And when I'm out in the community and I meet people and they find out I'm connected to OCC, they often tell me that either they're connected to OCC in some type of way, they took a class, they got a degree, they found their spouse there, or you know somebody in their family is connected to OCC. So it is really at the heart of uh, our community here in central New York. And uh, those are the types of institutions that I love to be associated with. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. So uh, uh, in the heart of the city, uh, spent- uh, West Philadelphia, born and raised? I, no, no, not West, no. Northwest Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have a rich aunt and uncle in California when I got in trouble. <laughs> you were playing uh, basketball with Will Smith. Then, no, you know? okay. no, no, even though uh, Will Smith and I are around the same age. Oh, no, uh, You know, it, it, Philadelphia is a great city. And, yeah. and I, I often uh, think of Philadelphia as a, a larger version of Syracuse. Many of the same things I see in the city here at Syracuse are things that I saw in Philadelphia, you know, 20, right. 25 years ago. So, so it's a wonderful, you know, it makes me feel like, you know, I'm right at home here in Syracuse. So, yeah. I had a wedding reception uh, last week and the couple is from Philadelphia. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. And uh, they had just a, a wonderful time. And they, and they were saying how it was very similar to, to Syracuse. Ah, similar. So you guys are both, I'm like, yeah. Philly and Syracuse. How would they say I, I don't know. But I, I, I tell you, you know, I like that. Huh? Philadelphia is just bigger. Yeah, it's bigger. Course, yeah, uh, but a lot of the same challenges uh, and a lot of the same opportunities. Um, great food, uh, great history, and sure. uh, both cities are connected. You know, if you think about the Syracuse Nationals, they became the Philadelphia 76ers. Right. Yeah. I, I can't that. tell you how many athletes from Philadelphia ended up at SU, no uh, including Marvin Harrison. Oh, really? Uh, I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. You know, so just so you know, yeah. lots of connections between Philadelphia and uh, sure. Syracuse. So yeah. How was your? You had your first Christmas here, probably, right? Yes, yeah. we did. No, uh, it was how wonderful. Was it was wonderful. I mean, you got you. You all told me there were going to be so much yes. snow oh, here. Yeah. I know. And, uh, you got lucky. This we, is a, we, a we, we have been, this is amazing. I, it really I know. Is a light Trust year. me, I know. I, I know someone that owns a plowing company, and I was speaking with the other day, and I said, "Well, oh, so," and they go by contract by year. I yes. Guess. Yeah. I yes, go, yes, yes, yes. Hey, I think this got to be pretty good because you know you sure. take the good with the bad when you, when you do that. But uh, how about I, that? I had a question for you as far as the SRC arena. Yeah. My my son is into photography and videography, so he'll take pictures for the high school teams. And uh, I just took him up to SRC and walked around the SRC a little bit. What a yeah. wonderful facility. I mean, it's just so great to have that up there with the Y. Absolutely. What's yep. the affiliation, though, to uh, OCC? What's the connection? Well, of SRC? So, yeah. Um, um, I guess we've uh, the, it's been named SRC for about ten years now, right, a little over ten years. Yeah. And uh, uh, back then, SRC, uh, you know, was generous enough to give the institution a generous donation. Right, uh, gotcha. And uh, it became the SRC Arena. It is beautiful. Uh, and so that's you know, part of OCC. It's not like SRC doesn't own it. No, you SRC own doesn't it. own it. It's, gotcha. it's a part of OCC. And like yeah. you said, we have the YMCA there. Yeah. You know, side yeah. note. Uh, the uh, CEO of the Central New York YMCA is a Philadelphia guy as well. <laughs> there you uh, go. So I didn't know that. I went to high school with him, and uh, yeah. his name is Bertram Lawson. We and, ought to have uh, him on the air. You yeah. should. Yeah, you should. Yeah, should. He's a wonderful him, individual. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, you yep. know, so we we host a number of athletic events. Just last night, we were there uh, hosting the Scholastic Arts uh, oh, event. Oh, yeah, uh, awesome. And if you haven't been by uh, campus, you can stop on by the Whitney Applied uh, Technical Center. Um, and all the artwork that the young people from Central New York is still up in, it'll be up till uh, March 3rd. So Very nice. we hope folks will stop by and see it. Would you mind sticking around because we wanna continue to talk to you. We're, yeah, just, we're just starting to unpack things. Okay. Yes. Good, all right, on the local show, we've got uh, Dr. Warren Hilton. He is the president of Onondaga Community College and we'll continue our conversation with him uh, right here on the local show on 570 WSYR 106.9 FM and on YouTube at Zoe Ad Advertising. Stick around. 
Welcome back to The Local Show, a service of Geddes Federal Savings and Loan and Safe Harbor Wills and Trusts. The Local Show, featuring conversations with business owners, employees, and local business leaders about their successes, challenges, and reasons for doing business right here in Central New York. The Local Show, locally produced by Zoe Advertising. Now, here are your hosts, Tom and Steve. We're back again, and thank you for joining us and carving out a little time on the weekend to spend with Tom and Steve right here at Zoe Advertising. You are listening to The Local Show, and we've been having a conversation with Dr. Warren Hilton. He is the president of Onondaga Community College, a true gem of uh, educational excellence right here in our community. The place has changed a little bit, hasn't it, Tom? It has. Well, uh, and, and you know what, what I found changed the most was that they actually have these little plaques when we went up to visit right we got the tour and it's got placards of people who've accomplished things all through you know uh, the different classes did you see my placard and no and I noticed that I I didn't have one either yeah just saying and I'd like to talk to the good doctor about that I I don't know I'm just just saying there's a committee that makes those decisions we'll we'll put you we'll put you on the list yes indeed so so if we do it here's what it is we're on one Tom. It's Tom and Steve, and right. we're on one. Yeah, we'll, we'll even no, take we'll, off just one. We'll, we'll give you your, each your own if, if, if the committee decides. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're, yeah. we're not going to. I've had some good accomplishments. I was just shocked. I agree. I mean, that's our alumni faces. Uh, it's all over campus, and it features a number of alumni who've yes. gone on to do wonderful things in the community. Yeah, um, and they know, might still consider yeah. us, Tom. Yeah. Right? Uh, hey, you know what? We'll put you on the list for consideration. We yeah. Go. Well, we did take a tour. Uh, doctor, um, and uh, who do who do we have take us? What was his name there? Nice guy. Uh, <laughs> probably were you with Roger? Yeah, Roger. Uh, yes, 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 Marabito. Yes, yes. Marabito. Yeah, that's yes, right. Yes, yes, yes. I knew him from uh, Channel Nine. That's he right. Had worked at Channel Nine yep, for a while, yep. and uh, what a great guy! And he was showing us uh, all around, and I was really, really impressed. I, I you know, I'm not just saying yeah. that. How about the communications department? Tom? Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's changed, you and I both ran yeah. through those halls in the early '80s. Absolutely. Whoa! I got to tell you, that's such a fabulous program. When we were yeah. at the TBT last summer. Uh, What's all of TBT? the people, T- I'm sorry, the basketball tournament okay, uh, gotcha. that features <laughs> Bayheim's Army. Uh, wonderful event. Uh, and all of the broadcast folks behind the scenes that mm-hmm. brought, that was broadcasted on ESPN. Nice. All of them were OCC yeah. grads. How about wow. That? It was yeah, amazing, you know. Yeah. And then when I talked to a lot of them, they said, Well, Dr. Hilton, you know, we love doing this work. And, and I said, But we won't see you tomorrow because we got to go to the um, National uh, Baseball. Um, Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. because that was the next day. So they worked nice. TBT. Mm-hmm. Then they went and worked out there in uh, uh, Cooperstown. So wild. yeah, I mean, our our grads are doing some wonderful things from that program. Sure. And if you're impressed with OCC the way it looks now, mm-hmm. um, you know, give us a little time. There's a lot of work that'll be going on over the next uh, few years. Uh, Senator Schumer. Uh, was in town two weeks ago Mm -hmm. uh, and brought a a number of institutions, uh, some big checks, if you will, and we were one of them. We got $2 million uh, for our our state of what is gonna be a state of the art uh, healthcare center, training center. So our healthcare students will be learning in an environment that looks exactly like a healthcare environment, so a hospital. So. We're very thankful for that. We're thankful for the contributions and the commitment from the Onondaga County legislator who've approved some funding for us uh, for this uh, project and other projects. And then, of course, you know, uh, Micron's coming to town. And (laughs) and so we we got some additional funding there and we're gonna be building a clean room on our campus over the next couple of years. Who cleans Uh, that? Well, it's a complicated <laughs> system you know, that I don't weird. understand yeah. everything. I'm just but, curious. Uh, you know, they got to yeah. clean it. Right I tell you what, it's so clean. Uh, I went into a clean room back in December down in, in, in Virginia uh, mm-hmm. at one of uh, Micron's educational partners down there. And you, it's, it's so clean, you got to put on a suit. Right. Um, because you can't contaminate the environment. But it's there's a lot something. of equipment that keeps it clean. So we're going to have a clean room on our campus, and then uh, this coming summer we're we're going to be doing some things like chip camp with young people. Uh, we'll be wrapping up building the curriculum that will lead to those jobs over at Micron. So we're very, 
very yeah. excited yeah. about the campus so and, if and how it's going to be uh, or a, a reinvigorated. Parent, a parent or a grandparent are listening and, and their child is trying to say, I'm not sure what I want to do. I'm yeah. not, you know, yeah, I want to yeah. go to the school and, and, and oh yeah, it's going to, it's going to put me a hundred thousand dollars in debt, but I want to go anyway right. well, it, it, to that heart. How, how do you communicate to them yeah. the, the experience, the value and the, and the, and what is going on up at OCC and why that should be yeah. really on the list. Yeah. So, you know, I would communicate the same way I would communicate to my own family member. You know, the value that we provide at OCC is tremendous. Um, it's the most affordable educational, higher educational op option that you have. And our programs are high quality. We have some of the best faculty around. Uh, we have programs that lead you right into a career, like our auto tech programs. So, oh, that was fantastic, okay. by yeah. the way. That facility. The facility is, is wonderful. Incredible. Yeah. You can you can get a certificate or an associate's degree <clears throat> and you move right into the field. Or if you wanted to go into something uh, in the liberal arts, like creative writing or something like that, you can get an associate's degree with us and then move on. Uh, to another institution like so, so, uh, SUNY Oswego, who we have partnerships with, um, or you, you know, uh, we have educators. Uh, you know, so just about anything that you want to do, um, you can figure out how to do it at OCC for an affordable price. And if you want that campus life experience, we have 16 varsity athletics teams. We just started a new esports team and. We're opening up an esports arena uh, <laughs> nice. here in the spring semester. That's going to be wonderful. You all should come back and see that. Yeah, I'd like to see um, that. And then we have residence halls on our campus. So a lot of times students say, well, I don't want to go to a community college because I want a campus Experience. experience, yeah. Well, you get that at OCC. Would, would Tom yeah. and I still have eligibility to play sports, RC sports, if we were to come back and take Well, as long as you didn't play when you were, you were in college. <laughs> you know. And we actually have a wonderful story of uh, a, a young man who I believe is in his uh, 40s who is actually on our track team. There we go. Yeah, came I, back to school. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Came back to school and oh, that's fantastic. Uh, what a wonderful opportunity and is on our track team. So yeah, there's there's it's wonderful really opportunities out there at, at OCC uh, for campus life. So yeah, so it's a lot of amazing things going on. A lot of partnerships. Uh, this is the first semester that we'll have Amazon employees on our campus who are part of Amazon's Career Choice. Oh, if you okay. don't know about that program. No, I don't know that. OCC yeah. was selected to be an educational <clears throat> partner. Amazon employees, they get their education at OCC paid for by Amazon up front. Very nice. I did not know that. Up, up front. front. Their tuition is paid up front as long as you have work for Amazon. Is that okay with you? For 90 they pay days. up front? Uh, yeah. we'll take, we'll take uh, yeah. So we're doing some really wonderful things. Uh, you know, our, our new student enrollment is, is looking uh, really good for uh, the spring semester. We're up about 86 students at this time. Oh, good. Compared good. to last year for new students. Uh, yeah. And we're doing a lot of other things on campus that um, building new programs. We'll be launching our cannabis education program on Monday. Don't we'll most students a, understand that pretty much? Uh, <laughs> I think the, you know, the world will understand it. Uh, and we're doing it in a way, um, we're doing it in a way where anybody can take advantage of it. So it's online, it's asynchronous, it's high quality. We're partnering with the Cleveland School of Cannabis. Uh, they have partnerships with employers. Um, this training is the same training that the uh, Florida Health Department has their uh, workers who work in that industry take. Um, there's a number of large uh, businesses that send their employers to this So training. is it too so, late to get on for the spring semester? No, it is not. Spring semester starts in two weeks. So they can jump on at yep. SUNYOCC.edu? That's it. Jump and on there. And if they yeah. want to just talk to someone, can they do that? They call Absolutely. We, we have folks waiting to talk to folks, if you go on our website, we have a chat feature. If you're the type of person who wants to do that, um, if you want to email us, uh, we're we're there, um, and we're Excellent. we're excited to serve people. Super. Boy, there's a lot going on up there. Very Absolutely. good. Good job uh, so far. You're, you're talking you're, to me? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the tip of the iceberg. I think you're doing a good job, no, Steve. Thank yes. you. Somebody appreciate guy's it. guy's only been here a little over six months. He's got all sorts of stuff yeah, going on. We're trying. Are turning, we're man. trying. Good job. All right. Dr. Warren Hilton right there, president of Onondaga Community College, SUNYOCC.edu. You have a great rest of the day. Okay, doctor? Thank you, and thanks for having me. You got it. We'll have you back. All right. Coming up next, we're going to talk with attorney david snyder he's the owner of snyder law firm stick around for him on the local show on 570 wsyr